remember, if you go back to UCLA, when I was a rabble-rousing editor of the Daily Bruin, well, my political views have always leaned, let's say, left of center. And uh, so I was, I guess, kind of mildly suspect and uh, was questioned and finally approved. And did you know other people who were affected and couldn't get work? Yes, I knew one very well, uh, and that was Lou Lance. Lou Lance uh, did tell me at that time that he had been a member of the Communist Party. And uh, he was blacklisted. Uh, he was not one of the, a famous one of the Hollywood Ten, but he was, he suffered from the blacklist. But I was able to hire him when he came to me, which he did about two years later, a year, a year or two later, with the idea for a picture which we developed, Lou and I developed at Fox into River of No Return with Robert Mitchum and Marilyn Monroe. Did he work under pseudonym? No, he did not. Um, who was it who questioned you? Uh, uh, the man who questioned me was Ward Bond, to the best of my recollection. Uh, in, re um, in what setting? I don't remember the setting. It could have been a hotel room. I really don't remember. And it was like an official sort of committee yeah. uh, questioning? Yeah. And um, what sort of got you off the hook, or how were you able to? These are painful things to discuss. I know exactly how I got off the hook and how it happened. When I received what was virtually a summons to appear before Ward Bond, uh, I went to see Lou Lance. I had learned about his affiliation. And Lou, I told Lou that I'd been called to, to meet with Ward Bond. And Lou said, your answer is very simple, Stanley. They're going to ask you for names. Give them my name, because they already know that I was a member of the Communist Party, and it won't hurt me any more than I'm hurt now. So tell them, yes, you knew a communist your collaborator, Lou Lance. And that will give them what they're asking for. And uh, it doesn't hurt me, uh, because I'm in no worse a situation then than I am now. And so I went and spoke to Ward Bond, and he questioned me about many things. And I gave them the name of Lou Lance, which they already had. So Lance really helped you out? Enormously. <laughs>